Hello everyone, uh, this is Tommy at Intellivision and I'm here at Intellivision and I thought it'd be cool to give everyone a really quick tour of our building. Um, you know, we're just moving in. We, we took this place over actually in uh, November of last year, but uh, then the California lockdowns happened. Uh, all through December and January. Uh, they were just lifted a few weeks ago. So, you know, folks can finally start to uh, come back in. So, um, yeah, this place is gonna look a lot different in like five or six months from now. But I just wanted to show everyone, this is our, uh, our front uh, entrance way. We're gonna get a big Intellivision sign up there and paint Amico here and on this rack, we're gonna put all of our uh, screenshots of all of our games and stuff. Um, let me see, I'll show you this way. Again, there's not too many people here in the office uh, yet, but um, yeah, I can, I can show you around. We kinda you know, painted it the uh, Amico blue color. This is a lot of our engineering team is gonna be around there. Little Hot Wheels track, um, all different, uh, you know, uh, offices here. And um, again, I just show you around. We got a 15,000 square feet. This is our uh, kitchen area. And uh, this place is actually very cool. This is our game room. And uh, we got pinball machines and different machines here. Big 85 inch television. There's Eric. Yo, wave Eric. Eric's. Eric's our, uh, our video uh, extraordinaire, and um, we're actually setting up right now uh, to do a shoot because we have our uh, launch update video uh, that we're uh, putting out. We're filming today and coming out next week. So um, we do have uh, some news about that that we're putting together now. We just found out yesterday, decided on what's happening. Um, with what we're doing later in the year. So, you know, this and that. So we'll a lot more info on that coming next week, but we're filming that now. Um, here's John's office. John's on a call, I gotta be quiet. But normally, um, normally you see this view whenever we're in, wherever we're in John's office, we're shooting. Um, but what you got going on there, John? Uh, well, I mean, that's rigid force. I also have a uh, rigid force redux on the screen here. I was um, playing with the trying to get to the menus and seeing what cool. I was seeing this new build of the game. Very cool. Yeah, this is the latest build of rigid yeah. force. We're going to be uh, you're working every good. Very yeah. cool. We're going to do a video on this. Cool. We're going to put out, uh, we'll put that out in a couple of days. Thank you, John. John's one of the folks who who's well, working in here but again lots of different things a conference room there um let me see let me go back Doo -doo -doo -doo. some massage chairs there a lot of this stuff's actually left over from uh from offices or our homes i'll, I'll give you an example here this is a bunch of my own personal stuff i got an aerosmith guitar hero uh thing uh just some posters this is a um Look at this old Night Stalker poster. How great is that? Look at that image, huh? That's kind of cool, right? That's, that's a, a poster that we did, I think, uh, for in Canada uh, in the 80s. That was done. This is my personal Dragon's Lair poster, uh, which I got signed uh, by everyone uh, in the project, from John Pomeroy to uh, Don Bluth and even the... Uh, Composer Chris Stone, Gary Goldman, uh, really cool there. Rick Dyer, of course. So I brought in a lot of this stuff. We're gonna we're gonna put on the walls. This is all just my own personal stuff from my house that I brought in. Mike Tyson's uh, punch out with a little NES controller and his signature there. These are all original pinball machines from like the 1920s and 30s. I kind of collected those, and um, you can see they're uh, they're they're pretty old. But that's why it's called pinball. They were literally like little pins and nails and the ball would, you know, kind of go in there. Old video games live uh, sign. Let me see, we'll go over here again. It's a little bit of a ghost town, but um, another uh, big conference room. This is the one we use uh, the most, I think. 
Uh, here's Phil Adam, our VP of Biz Dev and Sales. Yo, Phil. How's it going? Good. Uh, Good. Hi, everybody. You've, you've been in this office for about, when did you move in? Five minutes ago, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did actually stop by and look at it a week ago, like hit and run, but that right. was it. Other than that. Uh, yeah, just uh, just just settling in. Well, this place will look great. We'll, we'll have to do another tour once everybody actually yeah, gets gets here. Now, this corner office is very important to have a corner office, and this belongs to Nick Richards, yeah, our CFO and, and CEO. I'm just giving a tour of, uh, of of the building. I know it's we still have a long way to go before we uh, you know get it up and running, but uh, yeah, it's a little start. This is, uh, this is where it all happens here, all the uh, important stuff. Um, going down this hall, more offices. We, we're actually filled, too, because we have so many people now, uh, over 50 people uh, working with us, that uh, these offices are actually full. And uh, who's that guy in there? I don't know. He's a little sketchy. I don't know what he's doing. There's Josh. Josh, Josh is, uh, he's our, what's your official title? Just do, doer of everything. <laughs> Josh takes care of, he's like, uh, takes care of all the, the building stuff and uh, everything. This is, this is kind of a fun, fun thing. We have like a vault here that's uh, an old uh, refrigeration. We're kind of using it, using it for storage, servers back there. Um, okay, so now I'm going to take you into the back, our shipping and receiving area. Right now, because we have nothing to ship uh, out uh, too much, but, um, but uh, Nick was actually, who we, we just saw, he's actually, he was the Porsche Cup champion. He's a legit uh, race car driver, he's Porsche Cup champion in 2009. And so um, he's storing all of his race cars here. Uh, right now, for now, <laughs> so these are all of these are all of Nick's cars uh, back here right now. Uh, you know, th this one actually here. If anyone saw us on the Jay Leno, uh, Jay Leno's Garage, this was our Intellivision car. It was like a Burger Time car that was uh, featured uh, on Jay's. Uh, so a lot of a lot of Porsches here and. Um, but me and Nick both race. Uh, Nick is way better. Um, but uh, but we're on a uh, we're on a, a, a team, uh, race race team stuff that we enter into. Now this you'll find cool. And again, this is uh, you know this was this was a personal stuff that uh, was purchased, and we're like, well, let's bring it to Intellivision. But this is a an F twenty fighter jet. Uh, <laughs> It's just the, uh, it, it's the cockpit. They, they only made four of these. This was never like in the air, but um, this was something that, you know, that uh, Nick had in storage that, that he bought many years ago, I think. But uh, anyway, it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, the, the plane never flew, but it has its own Wikipedia page. And I guess there was, uh, there was four of them that existed. Lots of tools back here. Here we have a ton of machines. It's kind of dark. I don't know if you'll be able to, oh, there it is. Wow, look at that, magic. Uh, forklifts and things, but these are all uh, different uh, tooling things, 3D printers and stuff. Um, and this is cool, this is interesting. This is a uh, tumbler. So what this is, is you, you know, we put the controllers in there and the machine just flips, uh, flips around, it, it, you know? You know, and it's all computerized and different, uh, you know, different, uh, you know, you know, uh, speeds and, and stuff like that. So we, you know, we put our controller in there and, and hit it on, uh, go, go a little crazy with it for, you know, like 20 minutes. Um, here is our engineering space. So this is where a lot of the hardware engineers uh, will be. Um, a room in here, again, just starting to get everything together. Everyone's been working out of their home for, for about nine months now, unfortunately. But, um, but yeah, you can see all of the um, engineering. In fact, if any of you saw the uh, test video that I did uh, before with the button pressing machine, that was done here 
we have this crazy, <laughs> this was left over from uh, the, the people who uh, were in here before us. So we're like, yeah, that's neat. Let's just keep that. Um, this is really uh, interesting, fun actually. This is all of our old uh, plastics. These, none, none of these are final, but uh, these are all the different you know, colors and, and different things that we, we test out. And um, you, know, you can see the, uh, you know, I don't know how well you can see that, but um, these are the, uh, you know, some of the, 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 the final molds. You can see that these are the final plastic molds. Um, but we're just, you know, we're, we just, we get the exact color, you know, that we want uh, back and forth. So, um, you know, you can see the, you know, the silvers and the, and the purples and a bunch of different things. So, um, there's the, uh, the wood grain, um, one as well, you know, and again, none of this is final. You see how that's not textured. You can see it's kind of like all weird looking, but you can see where this one is textured. And you can see the little RFID uh, thing right on there. And those little uh, two little slots there, which is, you know, how the controller kind of fits in there really nice. Lots of different parts and things and screens and different colored discs. Uh, these are the, uh, the gunmetal ones. And uh, because, you know, right now we're having to build every single um, dev kit by hand, you know, so... Uh, yeah, so these are literally all of the parts for our, our dev kits. Um, all these, I mean, you can see, like, there's, you know, buttons and, and these are the, the side things for the LED lights. And, I mean, I could go on and on, but, um, I mean, look at all these, you know, little, little amazing parts. There's over 700 parts uh, in Amico and uh, over a hundred different electronic components. Uh, this is a fun box that, that came in. This is a, so all of our uh, Founders Editions are gonna have a special matching, so this is for the GTO Red, they're gonna have special matching lanyards on there. And the standard ones will be in the Amico Blue, the standard Glacier White and um, uh, Graphite Black are in those. And then we got the purple for the Galaxy Purple, GTO Red, and then um, we also have for our Founders Edition, we're, we're actually changing these a little bit. This is why you get this stuff in, you look at it and go, eh, we want that brown to be a little darker and the gold to be a little golder. Um, but anyway, there's some cool stuff there. Um, again, at a conference room here for engineering and you know different more rooms and stuff back there. Uh, now we come to uh, the creative, uh, uh, well, the, the engineering is creative as well too, because you know, the programmers and artists are all there. But this is the, the hallway where myself, my office, and our mechanical engineers, and uh, Todd and Slade, and video, and, and all those folks. So we painted it like Boba Fett. Uh, we painted it Boba Fett colors there's our bathrooms here. Um, so that's where I came in. So I came in from, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, I'm gonna swing around, whoa. So this was the entrance, right? So we went that way. Uh, we started the tour, but this is, if you go this other way. Now, what do you see down there? Here, let me, uh, doo -doo -doo. so these are all the different uh, offices. Mine's the last one on the left, but, You'll see why I painted it like Boba Fett, um, because I brought my uh, Han and Carbonite. <laughs> I, brought, I brought it in and uh, yeah, there you go. Han and Carbonite at the end of the hall. So we're, we're gonna hang that and uh, eventually and stuff. This is kind of cool. Uh, this is a Slappy Marsden original where he took R2-D2 and he put Amico controllers in there and we had that printed out on canvas which was kind of neat. Again, this is my office. I'm a big Flying Tigers fan. And uh, the band, Max Rebo band, uh, kind of neat. And then here's my office um, in here. Um, it's, uh, I've, I actually work uh, a lot from here. So um, you can see my office is more uh, put together and, and painted and uh, lots of uh, crystal, steampunk, Ferrari, Flying Tiger, old arcade 
game vibes. That's that's what I got running in here. And I'm not finished yet, but uh, you know, it's kind of like a uh, uh, cool space, creative space for me. Some Earthworm Jim stuff. Love the uh, new wave uh, stuff. is is great. The little arcade machines. Eddie Van Halen guitars. I actually have a uh, big Eddie Van Halen guitar, which is going up in the corner there, some Tron stuff, some Willy Wonka stuff. So anyway, uh, yeah, there you go. That is, I wanted to show you a little tour. Oh, here's something cool. This, this, these just came in. These are our final, um, our final cases. Ah, Lane's not good. Uh, the, our final cases that we're going to be, uh, you know, accessories that you'll be able to purchase. And uh, the inside's blue and everything and, and you, so you put the console in there and it and there's a uh there's pockets in there as well but then the controllers go in the back here as well so it's all velcro or if you just want to buy a individual thing uh for your controller case you know bring one over your friend's house to share your games or whatever it's in there too it's got a little running man logo on it i don't know if you can tell yeah a little bit um Anyway, and I had to take the physical media off my desk. It's actually under this piece of paper because uh, I didn't want to. I was like, oh, you know, I just I really want to lift this up and show everyone. Uh, but uh, I can't do that right now, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, thank you so much for uh, going on this tour. I just wanted to show everyone a little bit of the office space. Still very early and um Again, we'll be we'll be making uh, you know our announcement next week. We're uh, about uh, launch update, and uh, thank you so much for listening. Talk to you later. Bye.